Greetings everyone. I'm so pleased you could join us today for this very important discussion about signs of liver disease. There is so much great information to cover, and I know it will be invaluable to you all. To start, your liver is a remarkably hard-working organ that keeps you healthy in countless ways. It acts as a filter to remove toxins and clear out drugs, alcohol, and poisons like ammonia from your bloodstream. This helps keep your body clean and functioning properly. In addition, the liver produces bile, that critical greenish-yellow fluid that carries away waste products from your blood and breaks down fats during the digestion process. Bile is so integral to properly absorbing nutrients from food. Furthermore, your liver makes essential proteins for blood plasma and cholesterol molecules that transport vitamins, minerals, and other vital nutrients throughout your entire body. The many proteins made by the liver also play numerous important roles in maintaining functions like blood clotting, fighting infections, metabolizing hormones, and much more. We truly owe so much to this incredible organ, and remarkably, the liver also helps maintain your energy levels by converting excess glucose into a stored form called glycogen, which can later be turned back into glucose when your body needs a burst of energy. This glycogen storage and conversion allows you to power through periods of hunger and extended physical activity. In addition to all its other vital roles, the liver also amazingly helps your body resist infections and pathogens. It produces a wide variety of immune factors and antibodies that fight microbial invaders, and it filters out and removes bacteria and other pathogens from your bloodstream. This helps keep your blood clean and infection-free. Sadly, many lifestyle factors can damage the liver over time and leave it vulnerable to disease. Alcohol abuse in particular is very hard on the liver. Chronic excessive drinking can lead to alcoholic liver disease. Viral infections, if untreated, can also cause chronic liver inflammation. Eating an unhealthy diet high in fat and sugar for many years stresses the liver, and taking too many medications or accidental overdoses can also be toxic to liver tissues. Other risk factors that may increase your chances of developing liver problems include obesity, type 2 diabetes, tattoos done with unsterilized needles, intravenous recreational drug use, exposure to infected blood or body fluids, unprotected sex that spreads viral hepatitis, environmental chemical exposures, and even just having a family history of liver disease. When any of these risk factors are present, it can lead to increased inflammation, scarring, and overall stress to the liver that results in damage and injury over time. Now, experts emphasize that very few people actually recognize the symptoms when their liver starts to fail. And that's because most people simply don't know what causes liver failure in the first place, much less how to look out for signs of it. So today, let's carefully review four of the most common symptoms that can present with liver injury or advanced liver failure. If you notice any of these critical signs, I urge you, please see a medical professional immediately to get checked out and rule out serious underlying problems. Catching and addressing issues early is key. Okay, first major sign to watch for is loss of appetite and disinterest in eating food. Appetite loss, a lack of hunger for meals, and unintentional weight loss are some early clues that liver function may be compromised. Since the liver plays so many roles in digesting nutrients and metabolizing energy from food, dysfunction can make you feel turned off from eating. Second common symptom of liver trouble is fluid retention in the abdomen and legs. This sign turns up in more than 50% of those with cirrhosis of the liver, a condition where healthy liver tissue is gradually replaced and scarred over. The fluid buildup happens for a couple reasons high blood pressure develops in the veins supplying the liver and the liver loses its ability to make albumin, that key protein that keeps fluid inside your vessels. These factors allow fluid leakage out of the bloodstream, leading it to accumulate in the abdominal cavity, called a cites or pool in the leg tissues, known as peripheral edema. Treatments range from restricting sodium and fluids in milder cases to prescription diuretics or water pills from your doctor to forcibly flush out excess fluid through increased urination. But in severe, stubborn cases, your physician may need to perform paracentesis where needles are used to drain off the excess abdominal fluid to provide relief. Sign number three is jaundice, which is characterized by dark yellowish discoloration of the skin and whites of the eyes, along with darker urine. This happens when bilirubin builds up systemically. Bilirubin is a yellow pigment produced when old red blood cells break down. Normally, the liver absorbs bilirubin from the bloodstream and converts it into bile salts that help digest fats. This bile is then excreted out in stool. 
but when the liver is diseased and cannot properly process bilirubin, it accumulates throughout the body and leads to the yellowish hue on the skin, eyes, and urine. Treatments for jaundice target the underlying liver condition or obstruction that is causing the buildup. Doctors can run tests like a complete blood count, liver function panel, abdominal ultrasound CT scan, or liver biopsy to determine the cause. Let's talk about a vital sign of liver trouble, which is increased bleeding and bruising. Wonder why this happens? Let's delve deeper. See, a healthy liver works diligently to produce proteins called clotting factors. Their role? To help your blood clot whenever you get injured, stopping the bleed. So when your liver faces trouble, this clotting process gets disrupted. Liver problems decrease these essential factors. This means even minor injuries could result in prolonged bleeding. In more severe cases, patients with advanced liver failure can experience dangerously low levels of clotting factors. This can lead to spontaneous bleeding episodes without any injury, as distressing as coughing up blood from bleeding varices in the lungs. Further complications occur if there is liver cirrhosis. This condition enlarges the spleen which results in the inappropriate sequestration and storage of platelets away from circulation. Less platelets increase susceptibility to troublesome incidents like nosebleeds and bleeding gums. So, an increase in bruising and bleeding can be a warning flag for liver health. Additional symptoms. Next, severe liver dysfunction can lead to mental confusion and cognition issues. Why? Because the liver acts as the main filter to remove and detoxify substances from the blood, including toxins, drugs, and byproducts of digestion. When it cannot properly clear these substances, they can travel to and accumulate in the brain. This results in a condition called hepatic encephalopathy, which progressively leads to confusion, forgetfulness, mood changes, sleep disturbances, fatigue, and coma in late stages. Finally, liver failure can also cause frequent nausea and vomiting. This stems from the buildup of toxins that normally would be filtered out by the liver. These substances instead circulate and irritably stimulate areas of the brain involved in nausea and vomiting. Clearly, liver health is so vital for our well-being. In our upcoming videos, we will discuss more on the common causes of liver disease and how to keep your liver in tip-top shape. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those important episodes. Friends, I cannot stress enough never ignore potential symptoms. It is so important to listen to your body and see a doctor promptly if you have any concerning signs. Early detection and treatment is key for the best outcomes. Please share this video if you found it helpful, give it a like, and consider joining our channel. Thank you all, be well, and I look forward to seeing you for our next episode soon.